Uh, Mark, first off, um, what news on, on George Williams? George Williams had surgery this morning, just, just come out of surgery. Um, they've plated the or pinned the bone and they've uh, repaired all the ligament damage. So um, they've done a good job on it. That's a, uh, like I say, re, re sewed up the ligaments. Um, so he's going to be five months. And presumably it's one of those where you've been able to get reports that everything went straight forward and as planned. Everything went really well. Surgeon's really happy with it. Uh, one of our physios sat through the operation um, and, 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 and observed it and, and we're pleased how it's gone, but it, it's going to be five months. Does that mean you need to look at bringing in a replacement then? Possibly. But we, have, we, have a, we have a few weeks to be able to do that. Um, obviously, you have signed one player this week, Joe Willicott on loan from Bristol City. I mean, looking at the competition, you've really got some competition out for the gloves, haven't you? Yeah, we, we always said we were going to sign a third one, uh, which we've done. Um, we, we've been after Jojo for a while. Um, Pat Mountain highly recommended him. Dave Coles highly recommended him. So um, he's one that we've been waiting for. Um, we've had to wait until Bristol City's number one, Nicky Myempa, was, was fit again. Um, so uh, once that happened, we, we were able to get Joe, we were able to get Joe join. And obviously they're not at the club, but were Pat Mountain and David Coles able to sort of recommend Forest Green as a good place for him to come to as well? I think obviously Pat being there working with Jojo would would have been pushing for that, and and probably knows it's the best place for him. How do you go about picking which one to start with and, and which one to go on the bench? Because obviously you know, three into two doesn't go necessarily. I pick the one that I think can win, help us to win a game. Simple as that. That's the. I look at the opposition and I, I pick the one that I think has, has got the right attributes to to win us a game. Obviously, Lewis in possession from the one 0 win over Oldham. What were the most pleasing aspects of that result and, and the performance? I suppose more importantly for you. The pleasing aspects were that the opposition didn't have one shot on goal. Uh, we. we we totally controlled the game without being spectacular in the first half. Never really felt in any in any danger of losing the game, uh, and we had sixty eight percent possession, which gives you a chance to to win the game. Yeah, plenty there to build on. Matty Stevens has had another week training with the club. Is he now? How how much closer is he now to be able to push for a start? He's ready. He's ready. I wouldn't have any qualms about throwing him in the team. He's. Uh, He's ready, but Sean McClowski has been outstanding as well. So we've got three or four players that can all play in that number nine position. How much is it about not just them adapting to the system, but also the players that are already here adapting to the runs that they're likely to make and the service they require? This is every day. The, the, the work we do on the training ground is all about. The way we play is always a facet of our the way we play in every training session. So... They get in there. Warsaw, I mean, how difficult has it been, a, been to, for you to scout them for starters? Because 15 new players over the summer, that, that's some business. It is, but they've had a steady, they've had a steady kind of team and a steady way of playing through pre-season, certainly in the last sort of three or four games, for us to have a look at. And um, very difficult team to, to beat, I would think. Uh, five at the back, three in midfield. Uh, two forwards, um, be a very very difficult game, but it's one we're looking forward to. Like I always say, if we play well, we we have a chance to win. We fully respect the opposition. And like you, they got a one 0 win last week. What did you make of them up at Northampton? I thought it was a great win because Northampton are among lots of people's favourites to to get promoted with the business they've done. So, however they did it, they they they, they managed to get a one 0 win and. Um, they're a threat from set pieces, all sorts, so we'll have to be on our toes. And having come down from League One, are they one of the sides probably with a bit of pressure on them to, to go out and perform and the expectation obviously for them to go back up? I would certainly think so from their public, maybe not so much from inside the club, but uh, certainly from the, the Walsall fans, that they'll always expect them to, to be at least in League One. Injuries, uh, how's Liam Shepherd and, and Carl Winchester? Uh, Winnie's fine, Winnie... When he's ready to to be involved, and Shep is 
maybe next Saturday for Shepherd. Colwyn's just a suspension over as well. So, how, how big is the temptation to, uh, to to bring him back in, or has he got to wait for his opportunity? Big temptations. He's one of our better best players. You know, he's brilliant last year and um, was wrongly sent off in the in the playoff semi final. Um, he's the only player I know that's ever been sent off for for not making the tackle. Um, so, temptation to put him in is very strong. Thank you. Good luck, Mark. You've come up against Daryl Clark many a time in your managerial career. What, what are your thoughts on Daryl as a manager of coach? Great lad, get on really well with him. Proper, proper lad, down to earth, knows what he's about. Uh, no airs or graces. And works hard, I would think. It's, it's, when you watch his teams, they work hard. So, I like him, yeah. Would you say he was unlucky to lose his job at Bristol Rovers? He spent a lot of time there, brought them a lot of success, and then he was fired. I think he would have had a lot of opportunities to move on when they got promoted into League One. Um, showed a little bit of loyalty and, and stayed and probably paid the price for that. But I'm sure this new challenge will will refresh him and, and reinvigorate him. Yeah. It's a big club in lots of ways, Walsall, isn't it? It is a big club, yeah, of course. They've got history of being in the Championship and, um, st you know, it's a nice stadium. But, um, they've probably been down in the doldrums the last couple of years. And... Uh, a little bit of sort of apathy, and I'm sure this this will reinvigorate everyone with Darren going in and the new the new takeover. Yeah. Do you expect them to be there or thereabouts at the end of the season, or is it too early to tell? Uh, it's, it's early for everybody, but I think I think Darren will will want them to be up, certainly competing in the top ten, seven for certain. Yeah. How pleased are you to get the first game of the season out of the way, done and dusted? Always. It's always nice to get three points on the first game because it's a, uh, as you see, and I said in the build-up, there'll be, there'll be strange results up and down the country. And uh, like I said, it's important not to be too high or low either way. And luckily we got off, we've got off the mark with three points and that's all it is. Yeah. Uh, Alan Hansen once said you can't win anything with kids. You boasted the youngest team across the EFL on Saturday. How pleasing is that? Yeah, very pleasing for for the lads themselves. You know, like we had four we had four league debuts. Um, great achievement for them to be able to get playing in the football league at such a young age. Taylor Allen scoring a goal, so it doesn't really mean anything towards the age. If we think they're ready, then then we'll play them. But by the same token, they've got to keep they've got to keep producing, and we're not going to play them just because they're young. They've got to produce. And of course, you like working with young players. It's something that you can mould and turn them into better players. Yeah, I like working with any good players, yeah. doesn't matter what what age they are. But um, we have a good reputation with young players. Yeah, I, mean, I think there were, I looked. There was fifteen players in your squad on Saturday, twenty three or or under twenty three, um, and two millennials in that team. Makes me feel old. Yeah, that's good for the football club. You know, it's it's a good model that we've we've decided to go with and um, I think it can only make us stronger going forward. Yeah. Finally, just one more for me. Tuesday, away at Charlton, what a game to play. Great game for, for the football club, championship club, away from home, old historical stadium. We're looking forward to it mentally. Yeah.